going on everyone welcome back to stories from the road these stories are, are stories that's happened to us stories that we've heard stories that we've read some are crazy some, some are, are funny some are slight attempt at humor uh, this one she's telling there is no humor at all that's a pretty serious thing uh, get in that second but if you want to tell your story here let me know down below email down below we can try to get together you can tell your story that's happened here on the road because I know there's a crazy story like here and I've heard some stories from you guys so I want you guys to tell your stories so take it <laughs> so I read this story on Facebook so, um, a driver was at a truck stop, and his wife brought him a box. I don't know what was in the box, but he brought her, he brought her, she brought him a box. Something he needed for the for truck. The truck. And I guess it wasn't exactly what he wanted, or according to the story, it wasn't what he wanted. And so, according to the story... He proceeded to beat the crap out of her because it wasn't what she wanted. Right there in the truck stop parking lot. And other truckers saw what was going on, got out of their truck, and proceeded to beat the crap out of said trucker. Another wives, other wives there in their trucks called the cops, got the, the wife and took her inside and, and um, washed her up, come to find out their children were in the car watching the whole entire thing. The lady was embarrassed. She didn't understand what was going on and all she wanted to do was get back in her car and go back home and take care of her kids. My question is, is are you guys really that controlling that if it's not exactly what it is that you wanted that you're going to beat the crap out of your wife? Like, I just don't understand. I mean, I don't know. I just read the story on the internet, you know, and according to Facebook, everything is real. Everything's so, true on Facebook. So, but that's my question. If you want to leave comments, you know, the truck drivers that I've met have all been nice, have all been courteous, have all been very polite, um, have gone out of their way to make me feel comfortable when I'm in that situation with them. Um, I, I would love to think that that's not the this, this situation, like that was just one bad egg in it, but maybe you guys can tell me more. Uh, that just seems crazy, because I never, I, I could never see, you know, I know there's stuff that, you know, so we've been married 22 years now, and we've had multiple disagreements but nothing at the point where like I'm just gonna whoop her down up in the parking lot I just you know in the parking lot or in the house you know that just just I don't understand it you know I I've run across like other drivers on the road and they've had their wives with them and you could tell that like you know the wives were like uh, you know okay I go get your coffee you know, just like, what the hell's going on over here? You know, just, yeah. I'll go get coffee, and I'll yeah. go do stuff, but it's, I'm getting my coffee, and then I'll get his coffee. Yeah. But no, I just, no, uh, no, no, you know. I've never understood that whole master and oh, yeah. servant thing. I mean, I just, what would you guys do if you seen that happening right in front of you in the parking lot? But I mean, what would you do? You know, it's, I mean, it, it's hard to Everyone would say, like, oh, I got a truck and whoop his ass, you know, just, but, you know, until it's, like, it's right in front of you, I mean, you know, there's probably some people who would probably be like, oh, I don't want to get in the middle of that, you know, but, but there again, the defensive woman, you know, I don't know, man, it's, it's not a good thing, not cool, not cool at all, and it probably happens more than, than what we know, yeah. And not just truckers. I mean, not trying to make, make us look bad, but I mean, no, yeah. And just and those are just a story I read in a trucking article that I read. But it, I'm sure it goes on in every house. Well, not 
every house, but I'm sure it goes on in a lot of houses in America, you know, it just, I never understood how, how somebody could do something like that to somebody, you know. It's crazy. It's almost like a mild form of, like, trafficking, you know, they just, like, take her everywhere, you know, they just, you know, you're the servant, basically, it's like, I just don't understand that crap, you know, it doesn't make sense, I don't know. Tell us what you guys think down below. I mean, what would you do if it happened right in front of you? I mean, it's, yeah, that's, that's, I, I couldn't even, I couldn't even answer that one, man. I would, you would think that you would be like, you, you'd try to step in and do something, but. I would step in. Yeah, it's, it's hard. You, you, you'd want, you'd want it. Man, that's hard, you know. I would step in and then I would probably get hit and then he would step in. Oh yeah, that, that's all <laughs> game on then came on, you know, but at least luckily for her, there was people there to help her out, you know. Yeah, and she was just mainly concerned about her kids. Which... From the kids. He should just get another beating just for that, you know. That's crazy. That's the, that's the example that those kids have. That's I feel sorry her. for those kids. It's going to be a rough childhood. Unless, you know, she's stronger and, and, like, the story didn't go on from there. Like, that's where the story ended. So, I don't know, you know, you never know what happened to the lady or, you know, what happened to the truck driver. You, you know, you don't know anything else. That's where the story ended. So, you know, it just leaves your mind to ask questions and, um, and wonder. You know? Crazy people out there. Alright guys, so tell us what you think down below of this crazy story from the road um so yeah, if there's a story you want to tell just get with me emails down below so you can tell your story here you can tell everybody your story from the road and our next stories won't be so serious yeah well there's some serious ones but yeah maybe the next one needs to be like we need to throw humor. some humor in this that was, this one's kind of like oh i'm sad <laughs> but, uh, all right guys Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, welcome back to Stories from the Did you just go through the road. Road. Why'd you do that? Because you went, hey, welcome back. No, I didn't. <laughs> yes, you did. Go back and listen. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs>